Hi everybody, I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing capillary refill time and how to perform this assessment. So a few things before the demonstration. What does it do? It assesses circulation, so blood flow to the tissues. Where can it be done? The fingers, the toes, and the sternum. Most people were going to do it on the fingers and the toes, but sometimes in children or newborns, a better place to do it is the sternum because their blood vessels, their capillaries, are much closer to the surface of their skin and we're able to do this test there. Normal results should be less than three seconds. Some patient populations to consider. The older adult patient might be a little bit longer than three seconds. It might be around four seconds. And the newborns might actually be a little bit faster, so it might be around two seconds. So that's okay too. And a few things that can cause you to have slower results. If it's really cold, like if the patient's hands are really cold, if they are a smoker, a cigarette smoker, and then if they have swelling in their hands or feet, that might cause a slower reading. To assess capillary refill on your patient, first thing you need to make sure that they don't have nail polish or false nails on. And then it's a very simple test. All you have to do is you have to take your finger, press down on their nail bed. You see when I do that, it kind of turns white and then let go. And we count the number of seconds it takes for the color to return. So let's do that one more time. Compress and then let go. And it took about three seconds for my nail to turn back to its normal color. I just wanted to point out some medical conditions that could cause the patient to have a slow capillary refill time. So these are reasons that the patient has poor tissue perfusion. So if they're in shock, maybe they have like a broken bone or a blood clot, they have a cast on and it's too tight so it's cutting off the circulation, or they have peripheral vascular disease, which causes the narrowing of the vessels, which means they have poor circulation. So I just wanted to point those out too. That was my video on capillary refill time. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.